Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Monster Rancher. In the last episode, we... ...combined the DNA of a wall and a rabbit. We got this thing, and it pu pulled a motorcycle rooster out of its crotch. No, really. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. That completely happened. You can watch the last episode for proof. Anyway, Rudy's accuracy is garbage. I have nothing further I can say. Like, I'm trying to twist it into doing the standard YouTuber thing of trying to be entertaining. I... I have nothing to say. This is so weird. This is weird on multiple le Go fuck off. Anyway... Why is it the special monsters are always such pains in the ass? This is a doodle, everybody, our first generation two monster, who is not doing all that well right now. Um, well, I say that, God, you see one line of his mouth from the back and that's, it. ah. <sighs> he won his first tournament fairly handily, but I mean, uh, I almost, I just, a freaking doodle can easily beat the E class, what? Training phase? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll pass. As as much as I want to. I ugh. no, go go away. Let's see, there's a tournament. I don't think he's gonna succeed in that. Well, let's try. Why not? Why not? We could use the money if he succeeds, and then we'll know he will survive the D-Class. So my strategy with Rudy is we're gonna keep increasing his accuracy until something else gets more in the way. But we want to try to get him through the D-Class as quickly as possible so he can start using all the different training courses in the training area, and hopefully we can get some of those numbers up. So far, what we've seen is he hits hard. He doesn't hit particularly accurately, but his defense and his speed are pretty reasonable, so... Yeah, he hits hard despite having only 120-some-odd power. Ooh, but those are some bad numbers for accuracy. I mean, fair enough, we're against a tiger, so... What scares me the most is by the time this is done, Rudy's going to appear perfectly normal to me. And then I'm going to have to go check in at a local hospital and get my head examined. See, he's... Rudy is currently hitting more accurately than he should be. Yeah, I guess I should... Headbutt is... For the amount of damage it does, Headbutt's really cheap. It's just not as accurate as I would prefer it to be. He also gains his guts awfully fast, too. Yeah, a lot of these are gonna be... Oh, yeah, the pulling the shoe out of his ass. I'm sorry, there's a foot in that shoe. So he... Is he just pulling out an entire woman? Or man, I mean, you know, no judgment. It could be, is, uh, is he pulling out an entire human being who happens to be 90 feet tall and stomping their stiletto foot into the middle of the arena? And how is that legal? Man, Fimba, Fimba must be surrounded in controversies. They've had some weird laws written into their rule books. Uh, he's also made of pure cocaine with that kind of energy. All right, Rudy. Do the thing, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, slightly better de uh, accuracy than against the tiger, but not by much. How do I push? Yeah, square. Okay. Use the headbutt. Ooh, he dodged on a foolery. That was lucky. That time he clearly actually connected, but the game rolled a miss, so that's what we got. Wow, that wasn't even very good D. 
damage. Uh, probably because his intelligence isn't very high, but Headbutt is way better. Oof. Although even that's not doing much damage. Freaking golems. Alright, just hang on, Rudy. I will say the animations... Okay, well, that's going to be that. The animations are so long, they're good for wasting time if we get close to the end of a match, but... Well, he's dead. We can all go home now and move on to a normal monster. I cannot believe this is the same game that I raised a, an angel and a dog. What, why am I surprised about that? I just listened to the sentence that was coming out of my mouth. I like it, though. Like I said, d jokes aside, I like the idea of really weird, off-the-wall special monsters. It's very cool. Just... Just why? I have so many questions right now. Alright. At least he's not carrying a poop stack. Oh my god, that's probably one of his moves. Alright, Rudy, just hang on. You're definitely not ready for this class, or at least you're not ready to dominate it. I don't like these 50-50 fights that you're getting into. Oof. That's not great damage either. So your power output needs help too. And you need either defense or speed or life or something. So you need both one offensive skill and one de or attribute and one defensive attribute to go up in the short term. So let's get your speed up for or your accuracy up to 200 because it's almost there. And then we can start working on either life or defense or speed. We'll see what he seems predisposed to. Since I've never raised a doodle before, I mean, I'm going to have to do a little experimentation. All right, the question is did he win the tournament though? Probably didn't. We may have to face the goal on the second time. Yep. Called it. Alright. Well, you know, like I said, even if we don't win the tournament and get the cash then and see the rooster motorcycle. Or is it that's actually a head motorcycle, isn't it? Because it's got the it's, it's white feathers. Why am I overthinking this? It's a frickin' chicken motorcycle. Or a motorcycle chicken. Just... Okay, well... Who was it? Kalo said, like, if you hit two buttons at once, you can give up or something. No, it's not that one. Well, whatever, let's just fucking fight. Maybe we'll get lucky. Come on, Rudy. Yep, land those blows. You don't have time to waste now. Just frickin' attack. Nice dodge. Rudy. Come on, man. I mean, we've got a chance. We're not mathematically eliminated here. Not until Rudy is concussed and lying bleeding on the floor. If he even bleeds at all. And headbutt's nice and cheap. We can just keep doing this all day. If we can't beat him by quanti quality attacks, we can at least hopefully give a give him a go with quantity attacks. Ah, oh, not enough. Well, at least Rudy didn't get knocked out. All right, we got to pull accuracy up to 200 and then work on one of the defensive attributes. What I'll probably do is work him with all three attributes and try to figure out which one he's predisposed to. Although, one isn't a very good sample size, so I'll probably do three each. So that's going to take a few months. Want to encourage him? Not really. I will, but I don't feel particularly good about it. All right. Um... So yeah, for now, just keep working on scaring the piss out of reindeer. I don't care. Go work before I get an eraser, okay? 
Why is my phone not charging? Oh, my phone is charging. Okay. That's good. Uh, I destroyed the battery on my phone. I there's a first of all, before I go into this spiel, hashtag not sponsored. Not sponsored, although if they want to, I will be more than willing to work with them. But anyway, um, you may have seen the ad for Arknights around here on Google. Uh, well, YouTube, but anything that Google runs. Uh, Arknights is selling itself as sexy ladies doing combat. And so I tried it out. And the game is a tower defense game with a sci-fi feel and cute anime girls who are almost all entirely animals so it, it's a gotcha game it's it, you know it's going to be a money drainer if you want to spend money on it. it it's not it's not anything that you know is going to be hold on where's my hold on a minute i use a whiteboard clipboard just for occasions like this defense life and speed. We're going to do three of each. So, the Ark Knight is not... <laughs> the game Ark Knights is not going to set any, uh... You know, it, it's not going to be a sweeping game that, or a game that's going to sweep the nation like freaking Pokemon Go or something. But for what it is, it's pretty enjoyable. Even though it's a gotcha game and it's designed to suck your money. Um, you know, but it's fun. I, I kind of wish I could play it for the channel, but I need I still need to find a decent um, Android emulator that actually works for me. That's what a lot of Let's Players do who have mobile games that they cover. They'll ha th because there's a few out there. I think the one I used was Bluestacks for my Alpha Bear Let's Play, but it, it was a bitch trying to get that to work. So in fact, if any of you have any sort of suggestions for... See, I'm, I'm really hoping that what that is, is some sort of fire trail, and not just a gushing amount of blood since his head is being separated from his neck. Do the work, Rudy. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch you. I mean, I'm gonna try. I don't know if my hand will just pass through your non-body, but whatever. Anyway, um... Yeah, if I could get, uh... A decent Android emulator, I'd play some Ark Knights for the channel. I mean, I don't think very many people would, like, be super interested in it. It is just a tower defense game. You know, it, it's just got a decent skin on it. It's fun for killing five minutes. But, like most very modern games that are on Android, it will absolutely annihilate your battery. So, it is what it is. It's ironic because you only play those games when you're bored somewhere and away from freaking outlets. But whatever. Alright, forest. Sure, just... Just ride your chicken bike directly into a tree. That's, that's perfectly normal behavior here in Monster Rancher Land. I don't know why any of you are questioning it. I'm certainly not questioning it anymore. That's just Tuesday for this guy. Oh, God. Don't get bigger. If you say so, Holly, if you say that means very happy, I'm going to go ahead and defer to your... to your judgment. Where does the chicken bike go? Where does the chicken bike go when he's done with it? Yeah, we're not we're not doing the official tournament. Uh no. Forest. Because this will be the end of the experiment, assuming he doesn't fuck it up. 
which he did not do. There's got to be a more efficient way to get an apple out of a tree. Anyway, so after that, after three each, his defense went up by nine points. His life went up by 14, and his speed went up by 15. So life and speed are his bread and butter. So we want to make him either untouchable or impossible to kill. <clears throat> well, knockout. All right, when's the next official tournament? It's going to be for a while. Um, go ahead and work on... <sighs> work on this, I guess. Yeah, again, see, that's perfectly normal. I don't know why you guys are all surprised. Whoa! Big boost to power. Okay. So he's definitely a heavy hitter. Okay. Well, let's give this a go, because if we're going to send him on to the training courses, we're going to need money to do so. I hope he lasts a while. The special monsters usually, from my experience, usually either last slightly longer than the average lifespan, or they last significantly less than the average lifespan. Sort of like in Monster Rancher 2, that special Swayzo that has 999 in all stats but only lives one week. It's a very specialist monster. Ugh. Ugh. If I was a fan in the arena for this, I would just immediately leave, ask for a refund, swear off Fimba and move across the sea to whatever the other place was called. What's the other place? IMA, I think. Anyway. All right. Yep. Let him let him get this out of his system, Rudy. It's all right. You're probably going to hit hard enough that one shot will do it. Eh, maybe two. Of course, if we can score a knockout, all the better. But I guess what I'll do is I'll put him on the power course as soon as we have a chance to, since he's such a hard hitter. I mean, I'd rather go accuracy, but he's going to, he's going to struggle with accuracy no matter what, so we may as well bend to hit what he's good at. And if we can get his power crazy high and we combine Rudy with um, Darth Naga, then we might have a decent monster by, th by the end of it. Then we'll have to start raising another Generation 1 for intelligence to combine with Bum Bum, I think. But now I'm getting way ahead of myself in like 40 episodes from now, so let's just... Let's just calm down, me. 35% on headbutt. Ugh. 74%... Oh, that was... The foolery percentage on headbutt. Uh. Okay, reasonable. But if, if he's gonna... If I'm gonna miss that often, I have got to be able to hit much harder. Because there's just no way... There's no way that's going to get me through. Especially if I just have to roll. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I don't know if I've verbalized it, but I am not blind to the fact that the tiger is basically latching his face onto the crotch of Rudy whenever that move lands. Just, just keep doing it, Rudy. Just spam. Spam, 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 spam. Yep. Sure. <sighs> Two down, one to go. Yesterday, the Akamura and my mom went to the international store, Jungle Gems. We got a whole bunch of food, including some we're going to try on stream. No gross-out sodas, apparently, this time, but a bunch of tiny sodas. And I need to talk to her about where those came from, because I don't remember. Oh, God. I just realized who our opponent was. Rematch, baby. Again, I've got to hope he misses.
It's RNG. This is all RNG. Unless I just keep my distance. Not even a sub 70% against a golem is so bad. I may as well just stick with whip because I need the, the slightly more percentage to hit and the damage output difference between whip and headbutt is not enough for me to care too much about headbutt. Sorry, I'm... This, this one's a little intense. Waste time, waste time. Yeah. I would say the stiletto is a great move to just waste five seconds off the clock. That's all we needed. Guron's not going to be happy the way that battle went, out, uh, went, but whatever. We took the victory, and I am way over 20 minutes at this point, but it's fine. I say way over. Not like that far over. I, I don't know if I'm going to get used to that. All right, so Rudy's in the C class. D we're not done yet. I've got plenty more session to do. This I can't believe this is only the third episode. And uh, we'll get Rudy going on the power course and hopefully make him a one-hit wonder for fighting. We'll see. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Or another... Oh, wait, he's not in the C-Class. Son of a bitch. All right, we're, we're gonna get him in the C-Class. Bye, everybody.